What up, family? In this video, we're going to talk about artificial lights and how it damages your skin. You hear that? Artificial light damages your skin and it fucks up your skin cells. I woke up today, my brother's home, and we're sitting in the kitchen, and I turn off the light. He goes, why did you turn off the light? I told him, because it's too intense. He's like, turn it back on. It, it wakes me up. And I'm like, well, I don't want my skin absorbing the artificial light. And he said, what did he say? What did my brother say? He said, you sound like an insane person. You sound like a mentally ill person. Listen. The Wright brothers said, we're going to put a man in the sky. We're going we're gonna to create planes. And people laughed at them and they said, you guys are crazy. You guys are mentally ill. And anybody that ever created anything, that invented shit, they were all looked at as mentally ill because they had a different idea. But check it out, bro. If you go to Google and you type in, do artificial lights damage your skin? You're going to get tons of stuff coming up. Scientific journals. There's all these tests that have been done. So the lights were replaced. We used to have light bulbs. Now we have those curly Q lights. They're supposed to be energy saving. And those are fluorescent. And they're not like the normal fluorescent. Eh, eh. They're not like the normal fluorescent lights where it's a big tube. It's a really small container and it's a curly Q. And if you go research, it, it took me five minutes, five minutes of seeking the truth to find out that yes, fluorescent curly Q lights damage your cells. And there was a test done where they, where they shined this kind of light on cells in a petri dish i don't i don't know i ain't no scientist but i have to believe what these people tell me and i know that there's a lot of information online and what happened was the cells got damaged it was almost like these cells were leaving the club at three in the morning and there was another cell outside with a bat and he just started clubbing them beating the shit out of them and then the cell got all beat up and looked all, you know, cells look like a circle. But then when they get the fluorescent light shined on them, they look all like, yeah, like all jagged. They don't know what to do. They don't, they don't group around the side. They, they just lose their formation. When you absorb sunlight, it creates vitamin D in your body and that is beneficial. It actually helps you and it regenerates your cells, especially if you're living near the equator and you absorb UVB sunlight. In America, we got UVA sunlight and right now there is no sun. So I ain't absorbing shit. So, brother, I would, I would bet a thousand dollars, one thousand dollars, that fluorescent lights, artificial lights, damage your cells and give you cancer. Because I read scientific studies that prove that people that work in an office space that are constantly absorbing artificial light 
into their skin, they have higher rates of cancer than people that work outside. Artificial light damages your skin. It damages your cells. And it's intense. I don't want to look right at the artificial light because it hurts my eyes. But you tell me, oh, it, it, it wakes me up. And then you go upstairs, brush your teeth with fluoridated toothpaste, and then rinse your mouth out with tap water. That also damages your body. So scientifically, I'm not a mentally ill person. I could just go on the Google and then ask Google a question and then find out what the truth is within five minutes. But the real issue is, does anybody even care? Does anyone want the truth? Because it's available. We got the computer in our pocket. This is the information age. And yes, I believe that artificial light damages your cells and it makes your cells look all retarded and decrepit and that gives you cancer because I read scientific studies online that say that people sitting in a cubicle absorbing artificial light every day have higher rates of cancer than people that work outside. Also, I read another scientific study. Science, bro! Science! I read another scientific study where they shined the artificial light on cells in a petri dish and they got all deformed and decrepit. So when you go into the real sunlight, it regenerates your cells. It makes you healthy. It creates vitamin D in your body. And then that vitamin D is beneficial. It helps you think more clearly. So what happens when you absorb artificial light? But who cares? Let's just, let's just turn on the lights when it's, when it's daytime. Let's absorb as much artificial light into our skin as possible because we have no knowledge. Let's just stick our head in the sand and then not care about the truth and then call people that are trying to tell you what's going on. Call, call those people mentally ill. And don't even spend five minutes. It just takes five minutes to go on the Google, research it for yourself. Bro. Artificial light damages your cell. Facts. Your body is a cell. And if it's light out, don't you think you should just open up the blinds and then let the real sunlight in? Wouldn't that make sense? As long as you could see what you're doing. But then you, you, you could just flip on the artificial light while it's daytime. What's up? And let it damage your cells and then get them all fucked up. All right, I'm out of here. What up, DJ World? Turn off the lights. The artificial lights damage your cells. Get outside, get naked, and let your skin absorb the sunlight. Peace.